11 insanely scary Thai horror movies, the most underrated horror cinema industry. Horror has always been one of the most popular genres in the history of Thai film, and it has always received critical and frequent success. According to a long com in 2005, a Thai scholar, six movies out of 20 top Thai hits of all time are ghost movies. Financially, too, Thai horror movies are significant. The highest grossing Thai film of 2004 was Shudder. As Thai horror underwent a kind of revival in the early 2000s, boosted by the J-horror boom of Japan, it churned out one after another horror feast. Yet, the Thai horror subgenre remained largely unnoticed by the popular masses internationally. Except for one or two, most Thai movies never reached the heights of fame that Shudder 2004 saw. And with that, here is a list of 11 Thai horror movies that deserved more attention than they got. Before we go into our list, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click from you, but it means a lot to us. Thank you. Let's begin. Number 1. Lotta Land, 2011. Lotta Land is a movie that is as much about horror as it is about family. The movie's plot is broadly familiar. A family moves into a new home in a new neighborhood and is greeted by supernatural occurrings soon after their arrival. But what sets this movie apart from the other movies with the same story is that at its heart, it's the family and its slow descent into the madness than the supernatural elements. The audience remains enthralled as the story shifts from the cheesy familial bliss in the beginning and maps their spiral into horror as cracks begin to show up in their perfect family. It is painful to watch the family that the father tries so hard to bring together slowly fall apart despite his best efforts. By making the audience emotionally invested in the characters and their story, the director manages to evoke a near-constant feeling of anxiety during the movie's entire length. The director, Sofan Saktapizit, masterfully fleshes out each of the characters well and manages to merge their inner turmoil with real-world fears. The actors' performances are convincing and the characters come off as genuine and organic and at no point does it feel overdone. This picture was a huge success in Thailand because it was partially modeled on a housing development in Chiang Mai that was rumored to be haunted at the time. This movie will keep you on your toes throughout and delivers a solid punch of an ending, but it is not just for fans of the horror genre, but also for drama fans and fans who love family-centric stories. It was the number one film in the country on its opening week and had its international premiere at the 17th Pusan International Film Festival. Number 2. Alone, 2007. Alone is a story about family, love, and crippling guilt. The story is centered around a pair of conjoined twins, Pim and Ploy, joined at the stomach. They were very close to each other and promised to stay together forever, but Pim survives her sister by a chain of unfortunate events. She is consumed by guilt and regret, and it makes her move from Thailand to Korea. But when she returns to Korea to visit her dying mother, her dead twin spirit appears, and she is furious and determined to haunt her to death. This movie is directed by the Thai writer-directors Ban Jung Pi San Tenekon and Parkum Wangpum, who shot to fame after their horror movie Shudder came out in 2004 and was critically acclaimed. Both the story and the performances by the cast are strong and impactful, and the special effects aren't overdone. The lead role is played by Ma Ta Wan Tanapani, a famous Thai actress. The plot is ingenious and original, with twists and turns that you don't expect or see coming at all. The movie may also be called a psychological trauma because Pim's crushing guilt is very significant to the plot and is the source of a lot of emotional turmoil. A good part of the film is shown as flashbacks. Going back and forth adds an eerie feeling then following a linear progression. The technique also manages to establish a stark contrast between the past and the present. The film is terrifying, spooky, and causes you to lose some sleep after watching it. Number 3. 
Number 3. Forbia, 2008. Forbia is a horror anthology and consists of four short horror stories directed by four separate directors, interlinked via sneaky plot twists. The first story is called Loneliness. Pin has a cast on her leg and is now stuck in her apartment. She can't go anywhere, and she's bored, and so she ends up making friends over her phone. However, when she can't see the stranger in a picture he sends of himself, she begins to suspect something is amiss. The second story is called Deadly Charm. This story involves slightly heavier themes, drug use, and extreme bullying among school kids that quite literally reach deadly heights. A nerdy school student casts a deadly charm and curses his bullies while being brutally beaten by them and charts a plan to take his revenge. The third story is called The Man in the Middle and is about four friends who are on a trip together in a deserted jungle, but their journey turns sour after a freak accident. The last story is called Flight 244. It is a bizarre story about a flight stewardess who is on a flight all by herself to deliver the corpse of a passenger she accidentally killed. Does she make the trip? Each of the stories is engrossing in its own right and keeps audiences captivated. Although the four stories are interlinked, the link only adds to the story's suspense and excitement. The stories are not dependent on it for plot purposes. Even taken by themselves, they stand their ground firmly. They are compelling and chilling. The plots are clean with no unnecessary padding to ensure they fit within the time limit, and time flies by once you're watching the movie. Interestingly, the title of the first story, which is called Loneliness in English, is Happiness in Thai. Number 4. Train of the Dead, 2007. A group of five teenage criminals, Joka, Jun, Miud, Kai, and Ake, make a plan to commit a robbery, and all seems to be going in their favor until the police show up. While trying to get away from the police, their car chase gets botched because they crash into a shop. With no other way out, the gang takes the shop owner hostage and escapes into an empty train carriage and manages to outsmart the police. They decide to hide there for the night and leave in the morning after splitting the booty. However, the train passengers appear ostentatiously rich and the gang leader, Joka, not satisfied with the previous job, sees an opportunity to become even richer that night. But as he is about to execute his plan, he realizes something is wrong. The film manages to capture and retain your attention right from the beginning to the end. No one can see the end coming, and the climax is worth waiting for. The interaction amongst the group members is entertaining and often provides comedic relief. Watch this movie if you're interested in horror movies, but don't like being terrified out of your wits. Number 5. Shudder, 2004. Shudder is one of the most famous Thai horror films and is renowned worldwide. A young photographer, Toon, and his girlfriend, Jane, accidentally hit a woman with their car and then flee the scene because they're frightened. Soon after that, Toon notices a shadowy figure that starts to appear in the background of all of the photographs that he takes. His girlfriend is worried that the woman they killed might be haunting them, so she decides to do some research. As she digs deeper, she realizes that her boyfriend is keeping something from her. But nothing can prepare her for what she ends up uncovering. Shudder was directed by the duo Parkum Wangpum and Banjong Pisan Tenikon. They were lesser known at the time of this movie's release, but the international success and critical aim the film received shot them into the limelight instantly. Their skillful camera work and carefully measured use of digital effects and makeup lends a strong sense of balance to the movie. The film jumps straight into an eerie atmosphere right from the get-go and doesn't waste too much time setting up. The plot is creative and original. The writing and the dialogues are reliable, and the overall feel of the movie is professional. Tension is present throughout, it is impossible to lose interest. The movie has everything from jump scares, slow build-ups, genuine horror and gore, and even a psychological aspect. Shudder delivers everything you expect from a horror movie in a tightly wrapped package that leaves you scared and terrified out of your wits, but wanting more at the same time. It is not difficult to understand why this movie was such an instant hit and why it continues to be a favorite among horror movie fans even today. 
Remember to leave your lights on before you go to bed after you watch this one. Number 6. Art of the Devil, 2004 Boom is pregnant from an affair with a married man, but when she goes to him with the news, he tells her to leave him alone and says he wants nothing to do with her. Hurt and angry, Boom goes to a witch who uses black magic on the family. And they all die mysteriously, one by one. But that's not the end. Soon after, a strange woman who says she was Boom's lover's ex-wife moves into his house with her four children. After they move in, bizarre, unexplained things start happening at the house. Who is the new family and what does this mean for Boom? Meanwhile, a young reporter is getting too close to the truth and he must be stopped. The Art of the Devil uses one of the classic tropes in the horror genre, using magic to take revenge on someone and things go wrong along the way. Some of the death scenes are gut-wrenching and not for the faint-hearted. Art of the Devil was the fourth film on its opening weekend after Around the World in 80 Days, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, and The Punisher. It remained in that spot for two weeks. The movie also has two sequels of the same name, Art of the Devil 2 that came out in 2005 and Art of the Devil 3 in 2008. Number 7. Ghost of Maynock, 2005 Mock, a young, soon-to-be-married man, has repetitive nightmares with a ghost legend, a woman called Maynock, but he tries to not overthink it. Mock and his fiancé Nock go to buy an antique brooch and end up liking and buying the property, an abandoned house in Fra Canon. They get married and move in there. Soon after, two petty thieves break into their house to steal their belongings. Mock sees them and tries to stop them, but instead, they run their van over Mock, sending him into a deep coma. What the young couple doesn't know is that the spirit of Maynock is protecting Mock and the young couple, but she holds Mock's soul for a price. What will Nock do now? How will she go back to her fiancé without enraging the spirit? The movie is inspired partly by the legend of the ghost of Nong Nock, part of the Thai folklore. Nong Nok was said to be an angry ghost that lives in the Fra Kanon village, and it's also a reimagination of the classic myth of Mei Nok. The ghost of Mei Nok is one of the best and most underrated Thai as well as horror movies. Overall, the movie does justice to the Thai folklore and deserves its place on this list. Number 8. La Ta Fi Ghost Game 2006 Eleven contestants sign up for a reality TV show, which makes them confront supernatural creatures as well as their darkest fears. The show is to take place in an ancient museum in Cambodia, K-17, which was the location of the Khmer Rouge Massacre. Thousands of people were tortured, brutalized, and killed at the Tool Slang Prison during the Cambodian War in the 1980s. The museum now remains abandoned. No one has been brave enough to step inside until now. The prize money for the show's sole winner is a colossal amount, 5 million baht or 165,000 US dollars, which is the highest prize money ever offered in any Thai game show. But is it enough for the participants to sell their soul to the devil? They are about to find out as the show's producers set up more and more outrageous tasks for the participants. They are forced to test the extremes of their limits and also wonder if the eliminated contestants are the elaborate handiwork of the show's producers or is there something sinister really haunting the museum. La Tha Fi, or Ghost Game, directed by Sarah Woot Wee Chien San, is dark, tense, and creepy. A dark undercurrent accompanies the movie throughout its length, along with dim, moody lighting and special effects. The movie does not rely on gore tactics or cheap shocks, and the horror is built up with patience and care. The contestants' tasks are planned carefully by the showrunners and, as a result, the movie keeps you on the edge of your seat out of nervousness. It has everything you want in a horror movie. 
The film was tagged as one of the most controversial films ever made, and Cambodian officials accused the filmmakers of commercializing the Camp K-17 massacre, carried out by Khmer Rouge to benefit financially. As a result, the movie was banned in Cambodia. Number 9. Coming Soon, 2008. Coming Soon is a horror movie centered around the experiences of watching a horror movie. The film consists of a movie within another, an external narrative as well as a film within titled A Vengeful Spirit. The Vengeful Spirit is about a woman called Chaba, who is old and ugly with a gangrenous leg. She seems to have lost her child at a tender age, and she hasn't been able to get over the traumatizing experience since. She continues to carry the burden with her even at her age. Unable to cope with her grief, she begins to kidnap and torture the young children in the local village, and eventually, she is hung from the ceiling by the parents of the children she abducted. The external narrative deals with an unfortunate movie projectionist who works at a movie theater that is going through some tough times. Hard on their luck, the owner decides to illegally record a taping of the vengeful spirit. Soon after, he disappears under mysterious circumstances and Shane, the projectionist, begins to find eerie similarities between his life and surroundings and the events in the movie. The film is a directorial debut for Safan Sakdapizit, who was the co-writer of the horror films Shudder 2004 and Alone 2007. The Fridia Movie Club said the film had promise, and said it has a sharp film within a film concept, which is further proof of Safan Saktapiz's screenwriting talents. The movie has some good horror elements, some scenes that will make you jump out of your seats, and an ending that you will not see coming. It promises to keep you at the edge of your seat with creepy twists and turns that keep on coming. It's a definite entertainer that will keep you guessing right up till the end. <laughs> Number 10. Meat Grinder, 2009. In Bangkok in the 70s, a woman named Bau, or Ba, and her daughter, Bua, fall on hard times. They are abandoned by Bu's husband, have no money to their name, and if they can't pay their rent on time, their landlord is going to throw them out. The story takes a dark, sinister turn when one day, Bood finds a dead man in her noodle cart and decides to start her noodle business by grinding him up and adding his meat to the recipes her mother taught her. That is where the movie gets its name from. This is only the beginning, and as the movie progresses, it just gets crazier and crazier. But crazy is what adds the flavor to this movie. The movie is directed by Tiwa Moatai Song who also contributed as a writer, cinematographer, as well as an editor. Although it's a small budget movie, it doesn't look like it. And the cast includes actress Mai Toranpora from the legend of Suryotai in the lead role. Moa Tai Song's direction is mature and the use of color and shadow is excellent and makes its visceral scenes more impactful. The soundtrack is impressive and haunting in the right places and strikes a melancholy chord in the viewer. The movie received praise and glowing reviews from critics. Meat Grinder was nominated for three awards at the Thailand National Film Association for Best Actress, Best Makeup, and Best Art Direction. Number 11, Siam Sequer, 2017. There is a rumor that runs about Siam Sequer. It goes that many years ago, a young girl disappeared under strange circumstances in Siam Sequer, and her spirit has been haunting the place ever since. It is believed that after every time there is a blackout, she reappears to take someone back with her. The students at a tutoring center in Siam Square are reminded of this myth one day after there is a blackout, and the group of friends set about trying to disprove this urban legend. But things don't go according to their plan. They start becoming preoccupied with the myth and undertake efforts to debunk it as merely a legend. However, not so long after, the group begins to experience unusual incidences and occurrences as they slowly transform from being the hunters to being the hunted. The movie is directed by Para Kumwan, 
who tries to string together a complex and heartfelt story involving friendship, superstition, and love with the element of horror at the fore. There are moments of terror and tension, but the ones that affect you most are the friend's tender moments. Each of the characters is distinctively fleshed out and given a personality. The visuals and the tone of the movie are impressive. Given that it's Perra's feature directorial debut, he shows promise and potential. The movie keeps your attention by dropping mysteries like breadcrumbs and leaves you waiting for the answers. The horror angle is good enough and promises some decent scares. However, human relationships in this movie shine most brightly, which is what is at the heart of all of this. Overall, it's an enjoyable watch. This is all the time we had for today's episode. We hope you guys liked it. It would be awesome if you guys can take some time to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to tell us which topic you want us to cover in the comment section. Have a fantastic day ahead and stay safe.